In this video, I'll demonstrate the new features of Enchanting 0.0.4 .0 by showing you how to use this robot with a couple of light sensors and a motor and another motor, one on the left and one on the right, to go around this line following course, which I made simply by using some electrical tape on a piece of white poster board. So, let's begin. Under motion, we can't do anything. Well, first we need to configure our motors. So, I click on configure motors. We've got motors on ports A and port C. This one here, our left motor, is on port C, so we'll name it to match. And our right motors on port A. Okay. Now, we go to sensors, and we've got a regular light sensor here on uh, port 1. So we'll configure that. Port 1 has a sensor that measures brightness using an NXT light sensor named Light Sensor. Let's uh, change that name. Maybe we'll call it I. Okay. Now, um, right now you don't automatically get your program to stop when you hit the dark gray exit button. If you need to stop a program you can hit the exit button and the orange button, the enter button, at the same time and it will turn off your NXT running Lejos. But we can uh, just code that up so that when the green flag is clicked it uh, waits until the exit button is pushed and if that happens it will stop all which will quit our program. And that's really handy especially since the stop button here doesn't work yet. Now, let's go on to our main, our main thing. We're going to, when the green flag is clicked, and just for some fun, let's turn on the eyes lamp. It will be on in red, but let's turn it on in blue if possible, which is possible with the color sensor, but not with the normal light sensor. And we are going to tell it to automatically calibrate. So this will tell it to start the auto calibration process. What calibration does is tells it this is black and this is white. When you do it automatically, it looks at every reading that it gets every time we use this block, auto calibrate the eye to include the current reading, and it says, okay, these readings fall somewhere between white and black. And then when we use this, we look at the eye's brightness, we will get a value at, of 0 for black and 100 for white. But if it hasn't been calibrated, uh, these numbers may be out. It might be something smaller, like a range from 22 to 45. Or it might be that um, we told it that the black value is something gray and it sees something darker and gives us a negative value for the brightness. So auto calibrating really helps to get consistent results at different times and places. Now, uh, so we turn the lamp on, we start auto calibrating, great. We need to start our two motors turning forward, the right motor and the left motor. And now we can start into our main loop here. We will do this forever. The first thing we do every time the loop is um, auto calibrate. And now we're going to set the speed of the motors to, um, to be proportional. We will have what we're going to do is this. Here, if um, it's on the white, the right motor is going to turn faster so that it goes towards the black. And if it's on the black, the left motor will turn faster so it goes towards the white. And it should move back and forth scanning for the gray actually in the middle. If it's on the gray, both motors will move at half of their speed. So what I'm going to do is rotate the right motor to be proportional to the brightness that the eye, our light detector, is detecting. And I'm going to set the speed of the left motor to be um, proportional to the darkness. So what we're going to do, since this is a value between 0 and 100, if we subtract it from 100, now we get a value between 100 and 0. And, uh, and so the right motor will go faster when it sees something bright, something white, and the left motor will go faster when it sees something dark, like the black. 
Now we're going to want to make this go a little bit faster. This is setting the speed in degrees per second. Ack, I've got the wrong block in there for the right one. Set the speed of the right motor in degrees per second to be proportional to what the uh, eye's brightness is. So the number of degrees per second it can go depends on how much power your battery has and how much load there is on your motors. But um, we can safely go seven, maybe even 900 degrees per second. Uh, that'll be too fast for a line follower here. We want it to go about 300 degrees per second. So we're going to multiply these readings by a three. All right, so start it going, turn on the lamp, auto calibrate, get both motors going, um, auto calibrate to include the current reading so we know the difference between black and white, set the right motor to go up to 300 degrees per second on white, and the left motor to go up to 300 degrees per second on black. And then if we ever click the gray button, the program stops. So let's try it. You can see it takes wide turns, but as a simple full line follower it works just fine. Now, if um, I gave this program to my friend and he has the NXT2 with the color sensor and doesn't have a light sensor, is he out of luck? He's not. He just needs to go to configure sensors and say, well, I'm measuring brightness using an NXT color sensor. He could name it I, he could change the name, um, you might call it Blue Eye, for example, as we did tell it to be blue. And this one's on port 2, so I need to change that here and go OK. And I'll just put the robot back. You can see that all of the code changed, everything now says Blue Eye, where it said I before. And um, the NXT is on, and I will hit the Go button. And there you have it. I hope you enjoy using Enchanting version 0.0.4.